What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're gonna be replacing the dry belts, both the regular dry belt and the AC belt, as well as the harmonic balancer. Uh, like I've said in previous videos, the harmonic balancer and these have a tendency to crack and dry rot with age, and they can actually come apart and cause quite a bit of damage. I've seen them you know, put holes in radiators and break cooling fans and stuff like that. Um, you can inspect yours before you go the route of you know purchasing a new one to replace it if you're, you know, if you are concerned about that. I have, I will tell you, I have seen them come apart, um, start the actual outer ring where the belts ride, starts to slip, um, and you'll get like a battery light and, you know, decreased power steering assist. Um, but then when you pull the thing off, nothing looks wrong and you physically by hand cannot move that ring, but you can see it slipping when the car's running. So just because it's not dry, ride and crack doesn't necessarily mean that it's not bad. So if it were me, higher mileage vehicle, I would definitely replace it just to prevent any breakdowns. So um, we're gonna go over everything that has to be torn apart in order to get down into there. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through how to uh, get the old belts off, uh, show you how to replace the harmonic balancer, and then I'm gonna put the new uh, belts on and I'll show you the procedure with which to put the stretch belt on for the AC belt. So let's get started tearing stuff apart and get in there where we have to get to work. First, you're gonna start off with taking this cowling piece off two T20s here, uh, and that will get you this out and this and this just pulls out of the air box over here. So we're gonna get this cowling off, that'll get you access to your fan, which is also gonna have to come out. So let's get the cowling off and then I'll explain to you how to get the fan out. All right, I wanna show you guys when you're taking this part off of this air box over here, there's actually a locking tab right there that you have to press in in order to get that this tube to pull out of this box. So when you're trying to pull the tube out, just make sure you press this locking tab on the side and the tube will pull right out. All right, so I wanted to show you guys doing this. This intake hose, when you're taking it off, there's a clip here, slide clip here in it, that you're gonna pop up with either like a pocket screwdriver or a pick, and then you're gonna pull the hose back just a little bit till it's past this groove here in this uh, throttle body. And then once it comes back that far, you're gonna have to push the clip back in, otherwise it hits this exhaust gas temp sensor. And then you're gonna pull your hose off and push it over here out of the way. I like to unplug my uh, throttle body wiring just so when you're trying to push this hose through this area, you don't pull on this wiring too much and damage it. So I unplug the throttle body wiring, put it up over here, and then flex this hose over here out of the way to give you the clearance to clear to get your fan out. So uh, fan, connection unplugs here just two locking tabs on it set that plug connection up out of the way and then in the corner over here is a t25 you're going to undo that and then you're just going to pull your fan straight up out of here just make sure that when you do it you unclip the hoses along the bottom there's actually a hose right here in the middle that you're going to want to unclip so you don't break it or the hose clips that hold it on and then once you unclip that hose and undo that T25, we're gonna pull our fan out. All right, so we got our fan out. Like I told you guys, there's a hose that's clipped in here, here, and here. Just make sure you pop the hose out of these clips and set it behind it so you can pull your fan straight out. And then also, one thing that I forgot and I noticed when I was trying to pull it out, if you're looking up from underneath the car, right in this corner, there's a transmission cooler. There's two transmission lines that come in it and some cooling hoses come off of it. And there's a screw right here. T25 as well that actually holds that transmission cooler slotted into this area this radiator or this fan So when you're laying underneath the car look up on this side of it driver side You will see a T25 you got to pull that out too, and then your fan just pulls right out All right, so we got everything apart to get down in here um, have the EGR cooler out obviously uh, We're doing some other work on this car, so we had to remove the EGR cooler for that, but your jar cooler is normally going to be sitting right here in the way, so you're not going to have the same view. But you're going to take, once you get your cooling fan out of the way, um, you get a pretty clear view of everything in here. Uh, to take your tension off of your uh, main belt drive is actually this 24 right here on this pulley. Um, that pulley is going to turn uh, deflection pulley to the left. So you put your socket, whether you're using half inch or 3 h drive, on here and and turn it towards the passenger side of the cars if you're trying to loosen a bolt and it'll take the tension off of that belt in order to um get it off of a pulley so you can get the belt off uh the next step is going to be to take this stretch belt off this right here is actually a stretch belt as you see there's no tensioner on anything down there it's just a belt that wraps around the crank and the ac compressor 
Um, there's a special procedure for doing this per BMW. The way that I've always done it um, is by turning it at the crank and putting a rag around this belt here and pulling towards the front of the car. And as it comes around the crank pulley here with the rag stuck in there, it actually walk the belt off of the crank. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I do wanna let you know that there is a special tool that you're gonna need to turn the crank on this. I will put a picture of that in the video here. And I'll also put a link in, down in the description to that, uh, that tool. Um, so we're going to get this crank turned and get that belt pulled off, and I'll show you that. And then I'm going to show you how I put it back on, and then I'll show you the uh, repair instructions from BMW on how to put it back on. Um, my way isn't the right way, but it works. So let's get this belt pulled off and get the new one put on. All right, so as you can see, we got both belts off. Uh, like you saw, it's not uh, too difficult. Just put a rag around that belt, pull it towards the front of the car and spin the crank over and that belt will walk right off of that pulley. Um, now we're gonna get our harmonic balancer replaced. Uh, like I said in the past, it makes your life a little bit easier to actually look and see what your uh, how your part is held on. Uh, just makes it easier to find the screws. Um, this has got four screws holding it on. Uh, those are gonna be E12s holding it on. Uh, before you do take your belts off, it's probably in your best interest to break those bolts loose before taking the belts off so you have something to hold your crank. And then once you break those bolts loose, snug them back up just a little bit to turn your crank over to take that AC bolt off and then you won't have to struggle so much to get those belts all out. So we're gonna get those bolts pulled off and get our harmonic balancer swapped out. Just wanted to show you guys a comparison of the old part versus the new part. Obviously this is the old harmonic balancer and you see this cracking here around the outside edge. That's actually the cracking that I was talking about where it starts to come apart and you can see in a couple areas in here it's actually starting to separate from this outer ring. So like I said I've seen this outer ring. This inner ring here is driven by the crank and then there's your rubber that connects the inner ring to the outer ring. I've seen this outer ring spin freely from this rubber insert and it causes it to slip in relation to the crank being driven. It'll cause chirping, cracking noises from the front end. So it kind of sounds like a bad pulley. And it can also cause battery light to come on and decrease power steering effort. Um, and then I've seen them get bad enough where this ring, which is attached to your harmonic balancer itself in the back, actually come flying off and do quite a bit of damage because there's a lot of weight attached to this. So this is the reason why we're replacing it. Brand new part, won't have that problem anymore. All right, so we got the main drive ball on there. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to start the uh, AC belt on the AC compressor pulley completely. And we're going to put it on the top here of this uh, crank pulley. And then we're going to put something down between it and the subframe down there, whether a long pry bar, screwdriver, extension, whatever you have, and hold tension against the belt towards the back of the motor while you turn the crank over and keep it on this groove here on this pulley. And as you're turning the motor over, it'll walk it around the pulley and keep it on. That's the way I do it. Like I said, I'll put a picture here in the video. Of how BMW wants you to do it. But the way I do it works if you don't have the special tool. So let's get this AC belt on.
All right, so as you can see, I got the belt put on there, uh, sitting on both the crank pulley and the AC compressor down there correctly. Um, I was having a little bit of a struggle doing it the way I normally do. Uh, the only reason why is because normally I have a car up on a lift and I'm able to do all the work from underneath, but there's not enough room to do it from up top from what I'm finding. By yourself, if you had a second set of hands, somebody else to hold things in there, you probably could. Um, but since I'm by myself, I actually use this tool. Um, this is a, a stretch belt removal and install tool. So obviously it has an install side and a remove side, as you can see. Um, this is from Matco Tools. I'll give you the part number there, or the tool number. Uh, I will put a link in the description to this. I'll try to see if I can't find a version of this that's more readily accessible than ordering it from Matco. And I'll put a link to it down below. This is just helps out if you're doing this kind of stuff by yourself. So now that we got all that stuff done, we're just gonna put everything back together and be done with this job. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's not crazy difficult to do this harmonic balance on drive ball on this motor. Uh, if you have a higher mileage BMW, was there diesel, uh, 335D or X5, 100,000 miles in that area or more, and you don't know or know for a fact that it has not been replaced, please replace your harmonic balancer. The fan is very, very expensive. Uh, the radiator is, as well is very, very expensive. And there's a lot of hoses and stuff in there that it can take out as well. It can be a very costly repair bill if that harmonic balancer comes apart. I've seen it happen before. Just save yourself the trouble. Replace your harmonic balancer. Uh, if this helped you guys do your own job, please like this video down below. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please comment, and I will be sure to answer any questions you have. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys later.